people often uh, confuse flu with the running runny nose and the regular cold that people may have. And so uh, we use the term flu for lots of things that are not influenza. Influenza itself is a very serious infection and can really uh, cause severe uh, sickness, hospitalization, and even death. Uh, and every year, several thousand people in the United States die mm -hmm. as a result of influenza, and many, many thousands of them get admitted to the hospital. So I had flu back in 1990 uh, when I was a little bit delayed in getting the flu vaccine and uh, really knocked me out uh, for about five days and I was a young healthy person at that time. I'm still healthy but not young. Uh, so uh, influenza vaccine, had I, not, had I taken the influenza vaccine that year, it would have really helped me. I have never missed influenza vaccine since then and I have not gotten the influenza disease. It's really uh, can make even healthy children and healthy adults very sick and can put you out of commission for days. Well, that's easy. Once you get the flu shot uh, every year, as soon as it becomes available, I think there is this misconception that you should delay the getting the influenza vaccine uh, uh, until later in the season. That is not uh, at all true. You should get it as soon as it becomes available in your doctor's office or wherever you get your in vaccines routinely and it will protect you through the whole season. You do not e need to get a second shot late in the season to uh, provide the adequate protection throughout the season. The important thing is that the vaccine has to be given every year. So all people who are eligible for the vaccine should get it every year as soon as possible. So currently it is recommended by the uh, CDC and the American Academy of Pediatrics and American Academy of Family Physicians that the uh, influenza vaccine should be given to uh, all individuals six months of age and older uh, if they do not have uh, any contraindication to the vaccine. And there are very few contraindications to the vaccine. I think uh, if you have any concern, you should consult, consult your healthcare provider. But as a rule of thumb, there are very few uh, indication, uh, contraindications for the vaccine. So egg allergies are really uh, something that have been uh, of concern with people for a long time. Uh, the important thing is that uh, in 2013, we actually have a vaccine that can be given to uh, anybody who has uh, egg allergies. Uh, it's a vaccine that is, does not include any egg elements. Uh, even when we had the vaccine that may have potentially some egg elements, uh, most people who had, quote, egg allergies could still get the vaccine very safely. It is estimated that 1% of the individuals have true allergies to the eggs uh, s so that they get a, a, a anaphylactic reaction, may have respiratory disability, the difficulty. Um, most people actually... Uh, even back then could take the vaccine, but now we actually have a vaccine. So if, if somebody has concern that they have egg allergies, they can ask for the vaccine that contains no egg comp components. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's a very unfortunate myth that has been circulating for decades. Um, unfortunately, people believe that if they get the flu shot, they are at risk of getting the flu influenza disease and infection. That is not true. The vaccine that you get has influenza that is basically dead. It cannot give you the infection. Now, once you get the shot, you can get some low-grade fever. You may get some soreness of the arm, a little bit redness around there, but that's not influenza. Uh, I can tell you, if, if you have had influenza, you'll know the difference. Uh, I've had it, and I, can, and I get the flu vaccine, and I also get a little bit of a sore arm, maybe low-grade fever but nothing like real flu, flu. Because as I said, the virus components in the vaccine are just that components, they are dead. They cannot replicate, they cannot give you the infection. Well, I think the important thing is that flu vaccines have been around for decades. They are the safest, most effective way that you can prevent getting influenza and all the complications and hospitalizations and death that come with the flu vaccine. We are very lucky that in 2013, we have several options of vaccine. We have the trivalent vaccine. We have the quadrivalent vaccine. We have the f vaccine that does not call, th that, that is free of egg components. We have intranasal vaccine. 
So with all those choices, we, as Americans, we love choices. The important thing is get the vaccine. Get the vaccine, whichever you like, but get the vaccine. Thank you.